Hello, my name is Kim Sauer here in Nuremberg at SMT Nuremberg. Um, I'd like to welcome Dr. Josef Ziedelmeier uh, to our booth here. Um, yeah, Dr. Ziedelmeier, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Now, you're, you work for a company called F&K uh, Delbatec. What exactly do you do? Our company makes wire bonders and test equipment. Uh, wire bonders are machines that um, connect semiconductors to the outside world by welding a wire between the semiconductor and the packaging. That can be an extremely thin wire as it's used for um, logic circuits or sensors where we only have to pass maybe milliamps or microamps all the way up to very heavy wires up to half a millimeter cross section or even more for high power circuits as are used in any kind of power control but also in photovoltaics and nowadays more and more in electromobility, so e vehicles, um, cars like that. Mm -hmm. Very interesting markets and, and, and quite strong markets here in Germany. Is your company based in Germany? Yes. As a matter of fact, we are a group of companies. Uh, the headquarters and the main company are situated in Munich or just outside Munich. Um, and uh, we also have a branch or a sister company, I should say, in Austria, mm -hmm. uh, which concentrates on test equipment and semi-automatic or desktop equipment, as we would say, for pre-series pilot production, repair, and uh, R&D. Automatic equipment is made in, designed and built in Munich. Okay. Um, now, we're at a German show, um, and you've got a stand here where you're presenting a number of products. What, what is new, and, and what are your customers seeing this year? Um, what's new? We have, we have a number of let's say generational updates uh, both on the automatic side we have a, what we call a G6 generation 6 wire bonder system and on the desktop side we have a series 58 universal uh, bonder base with exchangeable bond heads uh, both of them are higher productivity somewhat higher quality and just newer generation we also have something that we would consider a game changer which is uh, the first prototype of a laser bonder developed uh, by us with the uh, Fraunhofer Institute of Laser Technology in Aachen in the framework of a German joint research project. Mm -hmm. and that's a very interesting machine because it does not use ultrasonic to form the welding as we do in standard ultrasonic wire bonding, but it uses a laser. Uh, instead of that, that allows us to use much larger uh, cross sections, as we say, or much heavier wires, uh, without uh, without damaging the semiconductor uh, and so on. So that gives us higher productivity. Okay. Uh, and we're introducing this as a first prototype at the show. Mm -hmm. uh, we have enormous interest in that right now because that will really be a different technology. Mm -hmm. Talking about the sort of feedback you've been getting, I mean, you said that there's lots of interest in in that innovation. Um, what has been the sort of feedback? from the people that you've been talking to at the show, and what's your take on the market in general? Uh, feedback overall has been very, very good. Uh, we're quite pleased with that. Um, obviously, a show like this is as much about talking to new prospective customers as it is about getting feedback from, um, from existing customers. There's a little bit of a family meeting uh, yes. all the time. Uh, from that point of view, it's extremely good for us every year. And as, as the market would go, we would say um, it's a little different from country to country, but overall, we're still in a, very much in a growth phase. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to say for that, of course, that we're not really in the mainstream electronics or semiconductor market. We do serve a number of niches. So if one niche blows up, that for us, of course, uh, is a, a major market change, whereas another niche, let's say photovoltaics, may be imploding, uh, which would not really mean so much to us if we are not quite involved in that market. Mm -hmm. so, but overall, the markets for us have been very, very pleasant this year. Okay. We expect to grow quite, consi quite considerably this year. Positive outlook. And, uh, yeah. and you, you also mentioned earlier a, a very strong partnership with the Fraunhofer Institute. Yes. And I believe you, you're partaking in a, in a joint project That's and, and a part of their live uh, production line here. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, this is true. The Fraunhofer Institute uh, ICM in Berlin, which is an institute for microelectronics, especially with regard to reliability and uh, integration. Uh, this institute runs a joint production line where we do live production here at the show uh, with uh, a line consisting of, I believe, now 17 different machines, uh, which is kind of, kind of interesting because it's not what we consider a dummy run. 
with machines running dry, uh, but we actually put in an empty circuit board at the input side and about 20 minutes later on the output side, this board comes out completely running with live parts, mm -hmm. soldered and everything, uh, which is really impressive considering that this whole line is made up from um, seven, I think by 17 different companies which don't necessarily work together every day. And in addition, it takes all of two days to set up this line. Most factories would be would be inexorably grateful to have a line that's set up in, in such a short time and it's actually working. So yeah. that's a very, very impressive thing to show. Excellent. So um, so I'm sure it's a, uh, it's a successful project also in terms of the, the, well, the research side of it and, and the partnership going forward in your own product development. Yeah, very much so. Um, so you, you mentioned a couple of the, the industries that you're active in and we've talked about the, the market in general. Just I know it's difficult looking into the future, but what sort of trends... Um, do you predict or do you foresee uh, that, that we'll all be talking about in the future? Um, the trends we see, of course, are very much shaped by the outlook from the niches that, that we serve. So uh, we would not be in a good position to talk too much about the general semiconductor business. Mm -hmm. However, uh, some of the trends we see are very strongly shaped by the automotive industry, automotive electronics, which is uh, a field growing in quantity all the time. Um, but which is definitely pushing the market in the sense that they have large volumes, very high technology, and extreme requirements in terms of quality. And that, of course, helps everybody. Uh, another trend that we do see at the moment uh, cons concerns the, the move to e-mobility. E-vehicles is a very strong trend. Uh, we'll see wh where that ends, but at the moment we are quite optimistic about uh, the point where we are at the learning curve. I think we're, that's moving up pretty quickly right now. And there is also right now the keyword industry 4.0. Oh, yes, big buzzword uh, in the industry. At absolutely the moment, yes. a buzzword. Now, for us, it's a bit amusing because we it really is the intelligent production and machines talking to each other and so on. We've had elements of that uh, for quite a long time in, uh, included in the machines, and it's, it's quite a slow process of catching on. But also, we get the feeling that right around now there is more momentum and more people are trying to. To, uh, to do something in the area, to get involved um, in this whole setup. And that for us looks like, like a, a, a trend that's definitely worth following and that will definitely have a big payoff. Driver for change. Absolutely. Which um, I think the industry needs a little bit as well. Um, everybody much. coming together with a, a concept, a hype or whatever you might call it, but um, everybody's, you know, clued up on it wants to talk about it so you know I look forward to discussing it maybe on a on a one-to-one -one session just about industry 4.1 in the future um, and see exactly what what your take is and discuss it further so Dr. Ziedelmeyer thank you once again for taking the time and I wish you lots of success the, for the rest of the show here thanks very much it was a pleasure talking to you thank you